Yesterday we had a guy that was out here working on the deck. The reason we're having work done on the deck is because over here is the east and over there is the west. So from about 8 o'clock in the morning until the sun sets, this deck is in full sun. So we're actually going to have a roof put over top of it. But anyways, while the guy was here working on the deck yesterday, he saw something interesting. Um, tragic for us. He watched a bald eagle fly down, swoop down into the coop and take one of our chicks. Um, it's not uncommon for us to have eagles in the area. Uh, we do live along the Potomac River, probably see them once a year. I actually took this picture a few years back uh, when we had a pair of them in the backyard. By the way, I don't know if this camera will do it justice, but look at that tree. Yeah, I don't I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but it's uh It's called an autumn blaze maple tree. It has it it's real real dark green in the summer and it turns really really bright red in the fall. But anyways, so there's a lot of things that you have to do. So there, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about protecting your flock from aerial predators. Um, what's kind of a blessing and a curse to have a run that's this big, it's nice that they're able to free range the way that they, that they are, but at the same time, uh, covering something like this would be nearly impossible. So there's a couple things that we've done. There's a couple things that we've done to try to make this a little safer from aerial predators. <clears throat> we got the coop they can get under. We made this little lean-to area. Whenever you set your food out, if, if you can, try to set your food underneath a shelter so that while they're all congregated up and feeding, they don't make for an easy target. Um, we planted these fruit trees in. Now, we only did that a couple years ago, so they're not very big, but we're hoping in time that creates like a, that creates a canopy. Uh, we don't currently have any roosters. We're not opposed to having roosters. We just don't have any right now. But a lot of people will get um, guard geese. Uh, of course, roosters will alert for any type of aerial predator. But also, ducks do a pretty good job. Our ducks do a pretty good job of alerting. Now, I know that an eagle can kill and take away even a full-size chicken but usually by the time they get older they're not it's not an issue for them they're we are going to try to run some fishing string zigzag all the way across here because there's no way we can put a top to any of this we can't put a top over all this predator sees it and decides not to swoop down or if they get close and then they see it or if they actually fly into it i don't know exactly how that works I don't know how well you can see that, but we got these all tangled in through here.
The idea is if they fly into this, it spooks them, it scares them away. Well, we are gonna try to get some aluminum pie pans and place them around in here. I, I guess it just makes movement and flashes and deters things from flying down in here. But we do have a fair amount of string tied up all in through here. Hopefully I keep these little guys safe. You want some old fruit salad? Hey, Piper! Taking a nap? The dog? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Half the dog's laying in the front yard. <laughs> 